Um, so today is the much anticipated, for some of you, um, slam bidding time. So when we very, very first learnt about this game, um, I kept banging on about, you need to find game, you need to find game, have you got enough points for game, have you got a fit, can you play in game, 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 game. And that is because game happens a lot, slams don't happen very much. Uh, sometimes you can't make game. Um, but slam bidding is one of those very fancy things that people go, oh, I play all sorts of slamming things. And then you use them once a week, or if you play bridge a lot, or once a month if you don't play that much bridge. So that's why I've kind of put the slam bidding to one side until now, because you don't really need it. Uh, that's a little bit of a fib. You want it, but you don't have to have it to play a good bridge. So if you're bidding a slam, you want to be damn well sure it's going to be close, at least. You don't want to be bidding. Oops, you don't want to be bidding dodgy slams on finesses and going. Oh, that was bad luck. <laughs> um, so when you're bidding slams, you want to be pretty sure it's going to have a good chance. Good chance being, I don't know, seventy plus percent if you like. Depends how much you like to gamble. Um, so if you're uncertain, don't gamble on slams because making game is a pretty good contract. However. There are some times where partner owners are bidding and you've got millions of points and you think surely we can make more than just game here. And I'm sure you will have all played hands where you've made 12 and 13 tricks and thought, oh look, if we had bid for that many tricks, we'd have made billions more points. So what we're learning about today is how to deal with that. Now, four no trumps as Blackwood is far more common than four no trumps as quantitative. Um, but I have to deal with them both because one of them is no trumpy slams and one of them is trump slams. But I must admit the emphasis should be on the blackwood. You'll hear a lot of people talk about blackwood that I assume is named after someone. So what blackwood is, is you're about to bid for a slam. So let's say you're about to bid for 12 tricks with hearts as trumps. You need to make sure you're not missing two aces as a team. Because if you are missing two aces, you look very stupid bidding for 12 tricks when they go ace of clubs, ace of diamonds, you're one off. So to bid a slam, you can't be missing two aces, obviously. Because if you're missing two aces, they take two tricks. Um, I refer to slams as either 12 or 13 tricks. Now, if you really want this technical definition, 12 tricks is a mini slam, or small slam, and 13 tricks is a grand slam. But we just call them slams where you, make, you lose either one trick or no tricks at all. I really, really want to strongly emphasise Grand Slams making all 13 tricks are incredibly rare. I've probably declared, bid and made 10 Grand Slams in my whole life and I've played a lot of bridge. So when we're talking about Slams, we typically talk about the 12 trick Slams because they're a lot more frequent, even though they're not that frequent. So, what do you need to start thinking about going for a slam? So if you're going for a suit slam, which are more common, uh, you need roughly 30 points. This symbol, for those of you not familiar, means roundabout. So 30-ish points. If you know your team holds 30-ish points, it's time to have a look for a slam. The reason you don't need as many points to make a suit slam is because having a fit is worth extra stuff. So you can have a fit, you can do some trumping. Normally this fit will be in a major, because again we're obsessed with majors. Um, don't discount minor suits, but it's rarer still that you have a suit, uh, a slam in a minor. Um, so normally you're looking for six hearts or six spades, is, is a common slam contract. So you want to start looking when you have 30-ish points, or you're aware it's close to that mark. Um, I'd say a minimum of 28, but really 30 is, is what you want to be looking at. Um, and so how do you look for a slam? So let's say you open, in fact, let's deal with, let's deal with the suit slams first. Um, your partner opens one heart. Oh sorry, you open one heart, your partner bids four hearts, so they want to play in game in hearts. <coughs> and you have something like this, with lots of points. So we've opened one heart. A partner's bid four hearts. So they want to be in game. So what, what do we know about their hand? Norton's hand. 13 points. Yeah, 13-ish, 13, 13 upwards points, perhaps a good 12. And what about the hearts? Support, so at least four. Okay. So we're going to make game very easily here. Now, we are around about the 30 plus, plus points mark. We've got 18. Our partner's promises should at least 12 to bid game straight away, because we've only promised 12 with our opening bid. 
So here, my thoughts would turn to, we might be able to make more. Because we have a lot of points. So, you could just bid six hearts. But what could go wrong if you bid six hearts? The opponents could lead ace of clubs, ace of diamonds. So when you're looking for a slam, it's very rare you can know for certain that you can't be missing two aces. I.e. you have three or more aces, it's quite rare. Um, so, you need to bid four no trumps. Basically, it's a last minute check to make sure you're not about to look daft in a slam. And four no trumps, when a suit was bid last, says, how many aces have you got? I'm interested in more than just game, i.e. slam time. So, our partner comes back with a response of five diamonds. Now these responses are completely artificial, they mean nothing about the suit, it's just asking a direct question. You've said how many aces have you got and they're telling you a number. The numbers are here, but they're quite easy to remember, it goes zero, one, two, three. Okay? And if you do have four, you go back to zero. Normally it's very clear as to whether it's zero or four, there's never a time where you're wondering whether it's zero or four, because you can either see one or you can't see it. So, in this instance, our partner has bid five diamonds. So they have how many aces? One. One. So how many aces are we missing as a team? One. One. So therefore, we know it's, in theory, safe to go for a small slap. 